Welcome back to Dynamic Steward Daily Video. Spiritual revival implies both bonding and separation. To connect ourselves with God and disconnect from situation that separates us from Him. Ezra chapter 9, the chapter of the day, gives us a good example of separation. The chapter opens with some leaders sharing a spiritual challenge to Ezra. The people of Israel, including the priests and the Levites, have not kept themselves separate from the neighboring peoples with their detestable practices. The complaint is about the bad influence of the surrounding nations over God's people, leading them to some detestable practices. The text continues by mentioning that the influence was so strong because they were present not only outside but inside the family circle. Verse 2. They have taken some of their daughters as wives for themselves and their sons and have mingled the holy race with the peoples around them. And the leaders and officials have led the way in this unfaithfulness. Intermarriages have increased the influence of the surrounding nations over God's people and the result was blatant unfaithfulness. Ezra was troubled. When I heard this, I tore my tunic and cloak, pulled hair from my head and beard and sat down appalled. Dear friends, our responsibility is definitely to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. We are not called to live in isolation. God's design is for us to serve and witness to the world. However, the question, who do I bring home, is a crucial one. Intermarriage with people of different faith became a cause of spiritual fallout for God's people in the time of Ezra. Does the risk still exist today? Or are we taking this situation too lightly? Another question is worth asking. What do I bring home? The books and magazine that I'm reading, the sites that I'm browsing from, and the programs that I'm watching represent the many things that we are bringing home and are invading our mind. Ask God to show you if you are at risk. Read the Bible daily. Connect with God and disconnect with what is separating you from Him.